Hi guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I have a minimalistic fall inspired design. And if you wanna see how I achieve this look, you're in the right place, so keep on watching. I'm starting out by taking Sleigh Parking Only by OPI and applying that to my index, middle, and pinky finger nail. Moving forward to my accent nail, I'll be taking a single chevron guide from My Nails Did and applying that over top of my ring finger nail. Using those same tweezers, I'll be pushing down the sides to make sure that there's no lifting to ensure that when we apply our polish over top that no polish seeps underneath. Taking the same polish, I'm going in and filling in the bottom half of my nail with a generous amount of product on my brush. Just because if I allow the layers to dry down in between, when I peel off, that line isn't going to be as crisp. So here you can see me peeling it off and it's definitely a really crisp line. So I'm going back into the rest of my nails and applying a second coat of that polish to my index, middle, and pinky finger nail. And next up, I'll be sealing my nails with one glossy coat of Glisten Glow's Quick Dry Top Coat. Feel free to use whichever top coat you have on hand. This is the one I'm using today. So moving on to that accent nail, I'm applying that top coat, but while the top coat is still wet, I'll be adhering a silver diamond shaped gem to it and just sinking that down into the top coat and applying top coat to my pinky finger nail. Next up, I'm taking Twinkle Tea's Lace Liquid Latex and prepping my skin around my nails, only on my middle fingernail because this is a nail we'll be doing a stamped image over top of. As usual, I went in with two coats of the latex. Next, I'll be using a What's Up Nail Stamping Plate B015 Geo Radical, along with Twinkle Tea's Low Key Silver Stamping Polish, paired with the Big Bling XL Clear Stamper from Clear Jelly Stamper and transferring that image over top of my middle nail. And lastly, I'm sealing in that nail with one classic coat of top coat. So here we have the final look and I really like this approach on minimalistic nail art. I do know that there's people out there depending on their job or even just their personal preference in nail art that they don't like or they can't wear anything super intricate. So this will definitely hopefully cater to people who like a more minimalistic approach on nail art. This will look equally as awesome with a matte top coat and I was kind of going back and forth in my head, should I do glossy, should I do matte, and clearly I want glossy, but if you choose to do a matte top coat paired with this design, it will look equally as awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you did, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope to see you back in Monday's video and until then, remember, creativity is at your fingertips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!